stars with an icon of the silver screen. Let's not deny it. It's Herbie, fully loaded. Here's a look. I wore the right thing. I'm very pleased. We're kind of matching in a way, aren't we? Are you wearing pink? We're totally pink twins. <laughs> I know. It's kind of perfect, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to dye my hair blonde and everything. Now, you must be very excited to be starring in a Herbie film. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. It really was. Um, I took racing lessons and um, skateboarding lessons and learned how to drive stick and everything, so it was cool. Now, Stick, of course, that's uh, a, a manual car, we would call that down here. I didn't realise you didn't know how to, how to drive a uh, stick shift. No, I didn't. But I picked up pretty fast. So now, did you tell them that before you auditioned for the role? Um, I think they just assumed I didn't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I did take lessons, and I, I learned pretty fast. The first few times was a little dangerous to be in the car with me, but, you know... <laughs> Is it weird, this might sound like a strange question, but is it weird to be in a film where your co-star is a car and you're, you're acting and, and delivering a lot of lines to an automobile? Yes. At first, um, I kind of thought it would come off kind of silly. But, um, you know, it, it, it's great because in the movie it comes out, it's very sweet. And, you know, the car's the underdog, so you're rooting for the car. And you really feel for Herbie, and he's cute. So, <laughs> it worked out. And you liked it, so. I did, and well, I'm a fan of, of the Herbie films. There have been quite a number of Herbie films. Uh, was it something that you. Were you obviously aware of Herbie, but were you a fan of Herbie films beforehand? Um, do, what, do you saw them? You saw them? Yes, of course. Really? You're not lying? No! You, what is it wrong to like a Herbie film? <laughs> Making fun of me. <laughs> no, I, um, I knew of the car, but I hadn't seen them. Um, so I watched them while we had our, after we had already started shooting. I didn't want to. I didn't want to feel the pressure of living up to the expectations of what people would have from the original, and I didn't want to feel like I had to portray the actors in the original um, to a T. <laughs> so I just kind of went and did it on my own, and you know. Now you did <laughs> mention, of course, that you did a lot of racing in, in this as well. At one point, you were actually driving around on a NASCAR track. How exciting was that? Well, when we shot that, we shot at an actual NASCAR race, and um, I did a lot of it on green screen because it would have been a little dangerous. And, um, you know, we actually shot at the NASCAR race, and there were 250,000 people there, no joke. That, um, and we set up cameras all over, and Herbie went out onto the track, and they did a lot of live shots there, but I couldn't actually get behind the wheel of the car at the NASCAR race. I probably would have gotten really severely injured. <laughs> if I would have <laughs> raced at that. You must have been tempted, though, just to, just to get behind the wheel. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of a daredevil, so it would have been nice, but I don't know if I could have gone that far. You actually, uh, you, you starred with uh, a few uh, wonderful people like uh, Justin Long and, and Brecken Mayer in this film, and I believe that they were uh, uh, pranksters and actually pulled a few practical jokes on you. Is that correct? Yes, they did. I'm very vulnerable. What did they do? <laughs> um, they kind of tortured me. Um, I was in my trailer one day, and uh, <clears throat> we were shooting late at night, and I, I, I get scared very easily, and obviously they knew that, and they pulled the, um, the cable out from my trailer, and all the lights went off, and we lost power and electricity, and um, they basically climbed on top of the trailer, and then one of them was under the trailer, and they were banging on the windows and the doors, and I was watching The Shining right before they did it, <laughs> so that didn't help. And then they put a vacuum on outside, and it sounded like a chainsaw. <laughs> so my friends and I started freaking out, and, you know, it was fun. All in good fun. Now, you've actually been in showbiz, or at least performing, since you were about three years old. Was acting something you always knew you wanted to get into? Um, yeah, for the most part. I started out um, when I was 
Paley Little, which wasn't that long ago. Um, <laughs> I started out uh, modeling and I did commercials and then a soap opera and my first show was, um, my first movie was Parent Trap. And then I've been doing it ever since, so it's very, f it's fun for me, it's enjoyable. Um, you just have to, you know, learn how to balance your time and do it all in moderation. Well, I was going to say, well, is it, is it tough when, you, when you've grown up it, in front of the world, like everyone has watched you grow up? Is it an easy thing to do to be growing up in, in the media, under the media spotlight? Um, I'm sure, I think it can, could be easier, but for me, for some reason, people like to pick on me. <laughs> so it's a little bit more difficult. But, um, you know, it's so now, flattering. Why is that? You're just a fun, you're a, a fun, <laughs> lovely, dressed in pink, 18-year-old <laughs> who wants to go out and have a bit of fun, but uh, you do cop it from the media and the, the paparazzi. How is it to... How are you able just to live a normal life with, with people with uh, cameras following you around 24-7? I don't know. Maybe if I wore pink more, people would think I'm a super <laughs> or something. But I'm really just... I'm really not that interesting. Okay, I'm kind of funny sometimes. <laughs> but, um... I, I don't know. It's, you know, it, get, it it's, gets to the point where it gets a little crazy. But I've learned to surround myself with good people um, that are supportive and are honest with me. And, uh... Um, I'm, I'm a fairly, I'm a good, grounded person, and I have a good family, and I love to do it, so I really can't complain. I feel very lucky and blessed. Well, that's the thing, because you... I oh, mean, that was very you, heartfelt of me. I've, I've got a, a single solitary tear. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tissue, too. Should I use it? <laughs> it's like some sort of expose kind of thing, like I've done a bit of a Barbara Walters interview with you or something. But like, how, how often do, like the tabloids, they must get it wrong 99% of the time with you. Would that be correct? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, here's the thing is, I think there's, there's a huge phenomenon right now with younger girls um, kind of obsessing over seeing, um, watching these teen movies. And um, they then buy the magazines, and it sells. So the photographers and the paparazzi and the tabloids keep selling, so they're going to keep taking the pictures and harassing you and making things up because they're making money off of it. So it, kinda, it makes sense, but leave me alone for a little bit. Amen to that. <laughs> leave her alone! You make me come get you, because I will. No, but it, does, it sounds like I'm complaining, and I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if you want me to roll some heads, I'll roll some heads. <laughs> At least just down here, anyway. I'm a tough cookie. I can handle it. Okay, it's all right. I'm here. Just because just I'm in a pink shirt, don't think I can't roll heads. <laughs> <laughs> I like when people wear pink. I like when guys wear pink. You're secure. Yep. <laughs> That's true. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to talk to us. Of course, the movie is Herbie, fully loaded. Will you please thank uh, its uh, human star, Lindsay Lohan, everybody. Yeah.